on Athabasca, over 30,000 of them. And crevice are cracks in rocks or in the mountain. So what we're driving on right now is called the Ice Core Marine. And we were on top of Athabasca Glacier on that Ice Core Marine. The moment we were flat again, after descending down that ladder of moraine. And even if you're looking out the left window, we have some glacier ice peeking through all this dirt here. Just on the ground. So this ice core moraine was created by Athabasca Glacier pushing forward. It was cutting up the underneath side of the mountain and all those rocks came folding over top of the ice core moraine. But let's imagine we're somewhere completely opposite of where we're at right now. Where do you want to go? Bahamas? Florida? A nice beach? And we're, watching, we're walking on that beach, and that sand is, bon or is burning the bottom of our feet. And so we dig our toes in just a little bit deeper, and you're going to find all that cold sand. So that top layer of sand is preserving everything that's underneath it, keeping it nice and cool, making sure it's not shifting or moving around too much. And that's exactly what the rocks and debris are doing with that ice core marine. It's preserving it, keeping it, it's preserving it, keeping it nice and cool. So when Athabasca Glacier is completely gone, the ice core marine will last for another 200 years. Now, if you're looking out your window, you're going to see a lot of black debris. The glacier looks filthy right now. And if you didn't notice, we were going through a puddle, so I just washed off my tire so I wasn't drinking on any mud or dirt on top of the glacier. But this black debris, if you look out your right window, right about now, you're going to see this black debris. This is what we call cryogenite, and it's melting the glacier. It's causing something called Effect. Now what the albedo effect is, is when light is shining down, it gets reflected off of all those light colors and bounces back into outer space. But those black colors, dark colors, that cryogenite is not light, it's, it's pretty dark. And dark colors don't reflect light, they actually absorb it. So it's absorbing light, it's warming up, heating up, and it's melting the glacier. And we don't want to do that. You know, that cryogenite is carbon and chemicals and even ashes from the BC fires from the atmosphere falling on top of the glacier. And if you're looking around, this glacier looks, it's not completely white. It's pretty blue, isn't it? Can